As soon as you dive into its world, it hooks you in with its raw brutality, emotional storytelling, and some surprisingly deep gameplay mechanics. Developed by Ben Studio and released as a PlayStation exclusive before making its way to PC, Days Gone is an ambitious game that delivers a unique experience, even in a market crowded with zombie-themed titles. From the get-go, Days Gone throws you into a harsh, unforgiving world overrun by Freakers, this game's version of zombies. The game wastes no time in showing you just how brutal it can be, with scenes of violence that don't shy away from showing the grim reality of this world. This even includes some uncomfortable moments like facing zombified children, which adds a layer of horror you don't often see in other games. But despite its brutal setting, the story has a surprising amount of heart. You play as Deacon St. John, a biker turned drifter, trying to survive in this post-apocalyptic world while searching for some sense of hope after the world has fallen apart. Deacon is one of the most likable protagonists I've seen in a while. He's tough, resourceful, and can handle himself in a fight, but he's also a character with depth. His loyalty to his friends, especially his buddy Boozer, and the emotional weight of his lost love give the story a sweet and heartfelt touch that you wouldn't expect from a game filled with so much carnage. When it comes to gameplay, Days Gone shines in several areas. The controls are smooth and intuitive, making it easy to get into the groove of surviving against both human enemies and the terrifying freakers. Way aiming works. The longer you hold your aim, the more accurate your shots become. This isn't just a gimmick. It adds a lot of tension to gunfights. Do you take your time to line up that perfect headshot, risking getting overwhelmed? Or do you take a quick, less accurate shot to save your skin? It's a great way to build suspense and make every bullet count, especially when you're low on ammo. Speaking of guns, there's a decent variety of them, from shotguns and rifles to pistols and crossbows. The weapons in Days Gone aren't pinpoint accurate, and this actually works in the game's favor. The slight inaccuracy adds to the realism, especially when you're in a chaotic firefight. It's not like other games where every bullet magically finds its mark. You have to work for those kills, and every shot that lands feels rewarding. Unlike some other zombie games where the undead are little more than moving targets, the Freakers in Days Gone are a genuine threat. They move fast, hit hard, and come in swarms that can overwhelm you in seconds if you're not careful. They're not the type of enemy you can just ignore or plow through without a second thought. Every encounter with them is nerve-wracking, especially when you stumble into a horde of hundreds of freakers. The sheer number of them and their aggressive behavior force you to think on your feet, whether you're trying to pick them off from a distance or making a quick getaway on your bike. Talking about the bike, it's more than just a mode of transportation. It's an extension of Deacon himself. The bike handles beautifully with physics that make it feel grounded and real. The rumble of the engine, the way it skids on dirt roads, and the feeling of freedom as you speed down the highway are all incredibly satisfying. But managing your bike is also a crucial part of the gameplay loop. You need to keep it fueled, repair it when it gets damaged, and upgrade it to make it more efficient. This adds a layer as you roam the open world run out of gas in the middle of nowhere, and you'll have to hoof it on foot, which could be a death sentence if Freakers are nearby. The world of Days Gone is populated with different survivor camps, each with its own storylines and characters. You take on jobs for these camps, whether it's clearing out Freaker nests, rescuing kidnapped survivors, or hunting down bounties. Completing these quests builds your reputation with each camp, which in turn lets you unlock better weapons, gear, and bike upgrades. This system gives you a reason to explore the vast open world and engage with the side content. It's a way to grow stronger and more capable as you progress through the game. No game is perfect, and Days Gone is no exception. For starters, the pacing can feel a bit off at times. The story starts strong, but sometimes loses momentum with some of the repetitive side missions and fetch quests. There are moments where it feels like you're just going through the motions, especially in the middle of the game. The open world, while beautiful and atmospheric, can also feel a bit empty at times. 
There are long stretches of road where not much happens, which can be either a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how you like to play. Some players might find this to be a nice break from the constant action, while others might see it as a bit of a drag. Days Gone is a brave and ambitious game that delivers a unique experience in the zombie survival genre. Its combination of brutal combat, heartfelt storytelling, and deep gameplay mechanics make it a game worth experiencing, especially if you're a fan of open-world adventures with a bit of a survival twist. The characters are memorable, the bike feels fantastic to ride, and the freakers are a constant threat that keeps you on your toes. While it has its flaws, like some pacing issues and occasional technical hiccups, the overall package is a gripping, emotional journey that sticks with you long after the credits roll. If you're looking for a game that balances intense action with a surprisingly touching story, Days Gone is definitely worth the ride.